there welcome back to this channel and uh, i am your teacher i am sir franco and uh, last time i talked about problem solving on sex sure. using venn diagram but uh, this time i will uh, continue this is the second part the first part was uh, using a venn diagram involving two circles only but this time i will be using three circles so please stay with me so that you will be able to have an idea when you go to your classrooms you will be able to solve these kind of problems it's just similar when you go there let's start solving this problem and uh, let us read first a school of 500 students conducted a survey on their preference of learning during the time of pandemic out of 500 students 200 preferred modular learning 250 preferred online learning 175 preferred through television 100 preferred both modular and online 75 preferred online and through TV 100 preferred modular and through TV 50 preferred three modes of learning How many preferred modular only? How many preferred online learning only? How many preferred through television only? And how many preferred face to face? In order for us to solve this kind of problem, we have to illustrate this using a Venn diagram. Since there are three modes of learning, we have to use three circles in our Venn diagram. We label each circle for modular online and through TV. For modular, our figure is 200. For online, our figure is 250. For through television, our figure is 175. Now let us plot this number in our diagram. There are 100 who preferred both modular and online. Where is this part of this diagram? We have here modular and uh, online. This is the portion, the intersection of modular and online. So, we write here 100 in the middle, 100. 75 preferred online and through TV. This portion will be found here. We have online and TV circles. Then this is the intersection of the two circles. We write here in the middle, 75. We have also 128 preferred modular and through TV. Since this is our modular for this circle and this circle is for television. So we use this intersection and that is 120. There are also 50 who prefer three modes of learning and we write this in the middle. We have here 50. Let us look at this. Given for this 120, there is already 50 in the middle so we can find this portion. That is 120 minus 50 equals 70.
and we can also find this portion we say 75 minus 50 equals 25 we remove this already since we are done with our distribution of the numbers and we can also find this portion since we have 100 for this intersection minus 50 we have 50 also we remove this number since you are done with our distribution we have this numbers already so we can now find how many students preferred modular only and where is that portion this portion is for the modular only we can write here 200 minus 50 minus 50 minus 70 and the answer is 30 we answer the first question right here 30 preferred modular learning only question number two how many preferred online learning we have this information already here 125 since those who preferred for the online is 250 we subtract 250 minus 50 minus 50 minus 25 and the answer is 125 there are 125 students who preferred online learning only question number three how many prefer through television only where is that portion it is this part of the circle and uh, how do we answer that since we have already 175 who preferred television then we subtract 175 minus 70 minus 50 and minus 25 our answer will be 30 there are 30 persons there are 30 students who preferred through television learning how do we answer our fourth question it says how many preferred face to face since there are 500 students we have to add all the information given in the circles if we add this all the total is 380 500 minus 380 the answer is 120 this is the number for those who did not like three modes of learning but they want face to face and this 120 is still part of our Venn diagram Now we answered our questions for this type of problem and I hope you will be able to get the idea how to solve and when you go back to your classroom it is easy for you to solve this type of problem. Thank you. That's all friends we have solved already our sample problems involving sets using Venn diagram and uh, I hope it helped you a lot and uh, I want to thank you for watching this kind of video this will really help you in your studies and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel